hi there welcome back to the channel and today we are going to create a picture in picture javascript project so this is going to be a small project where you can select a particular screen and render that screen content in the format of picture in picture and we are going to create this using javascript so before we start with this project i'm going to show you the two web api that we are going to use in order to create this project so the first one is the screen capture api so we are going to use this API here. Let me show you. So this is the actual API navigator.mediadevices.get display media. So this web API is going to be responsible for selecting the screen and giving the screen content to us. So using this uh, web API, we are going to get that screen content. And after that, we need to render this screen content in the format of picture in picture. So in order to do that, we are going to use another web API that is picture in picture web API. So let me scroll a bit and let me show you that. So here entering picture in picture mode and you can see so this is the actual API that we'll be using request picture in picture. So this API will help us to render those content in the picture in picture format. So let us go towards the visual studio code and let us write that project here. So firstly, obviously we need to render the video in the picture in picture format. So I'm going to create a video tag here and, and I'm going to remove this SRC because we are going to get this SRC using the JavaScript because we want to render the video, right? Whatever the screen the user selects based on that screen, we want to render the video. So that we are going to do using JavaScript. So we are going to enter that video source object here using the javascript so i'm going to remove the source object here and i'm going to make this tag hidden initially here so and then after that i'm going to give the control so this control attribute is responsible for giving all those video control options like increasing or decreasing the volume fast forward and all and i'm going to give id and that id is going to be video itself and the other property that I want to assign is height and width. So the height here, I'm going to give 360 and let me give width attribute as well. And then the width is going to be 640. Okay. So we are done with the video tag. Now let me create a div and here inside this H1. So I'm going to assign the class and I'm going to name it as head and I'm going to write picture in picture app okay so since this is a picture in picture app that we are creating so let me write picture in picture app to share your screen okay to share your screen and be productive so let me write that okay so that is done here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add two buttons so one button allows us to share the screen or select the screen and then the other button is going to allow us to view that picture in picture format okay so let me create those two buttons so here this div is going to contain a class going to have a class and it is going to call button container so let me call it as button container okay so we are done with this let me remove this S. I'm just going to call it as button container and it is going to have two buttons here. So the first button is responsible for sharing the screen. So I'm going to write it as share screen. And the second button is responsible for starting the video. So I'm going to write it as start video. All right. And this button is going to be hidden by default so i'm going to get assign it as class hide here okay and both of this button is going to consist of some id so this is going to be start button okay so i'm going to name this button as start button since this button is responsible for starting the video and i'm going to assign another id to this button since this button is responsible for sharing the screen so i'm going to give this id as share button okay so we are done with the ui so let me save this and let me go to the browser and see the output here so this is the browser here we can see so this is how our app looks and if you're wondering hey we just wrote some few lines of html 
and where are all the styles coming from so actually i've already written some of the css here you can see so you can actually pause the video and you can check the css and you can write it by yourself so i don't want to discuss the css i want to discuss javascript part here and i want to create this picture in picture javascript project so i've already written the css and as you can see this is the height class that i've added inside this button and this height class is basically doing display none so that's why right now we can't see this start video button here in the screen we can only see this share screen so now once user clicks on the share screen a pop-up is going to come up here and user is going to select the screen that particular screen which user wants to watch in picture in picture format once user is going to select that screen now this share screen button is going to be disappeared and this start video button is going to be there and once user click this start video button is going to see that screen content here in the picture in picture format so that's the entire goal here so we are done with the html part so let's get started with the javascript part and as you can see the javascript file is completely empty here so let's start with the javascript so the first thing we need to do is we need to select this video and start button and share button so let us do that so i'm going to write this as const video tag since this is a video tag and let me do it as document okay document dot query selector so using that we are going to select this video and you know that this video tag is having an id of video so let me grab this and this is how we are going to grab the video tag now similarly we need to grab the start button and the share button as well so let me write this as share button first and the second one is going to be the start button okay in order to start the video and we all know that each of this button is having its own id so here it is going to have here i'm going to paste that id share button and we have another id called start button for starting the video all right and let me come here and let me paste it out here so let me remove this so we have grabbed all the ui elements now let's start with the actual coding part so the first step is to share the screen so as soon as user comes and clicks on the share screen we want to create a pop-up and give options to the user that which screen user wants to share so in order to do that i already discussed that we are going to use this screen capture api so let's use this api and give that option to the user so this is the screen sharing part and this is going to be an asynchronous talk so that's why i'm going to write this async keyword here and let me create that function and i'm going to say select screen okay so let me write it as select screen cool now let me write this inside the try catch block here now i'm writing this try catch block because i want to perform all the tasks inside this try uh, block and if everything is successful then we are going to execute it but if something is wrong here inside this try block if it is giving us some kind of error then we can render that error using this catch block so that's why i'm using this try catch block so it's good that we use try try catch block inside the asynchronous op uh, function so that's why i'm using this try catch here so let me try to log the error if we get some kind of error so i'm going to say error and i'm going to log that error whatever the error is okay now let us quickly grab that screen so how to get that screen so it's pretty much simple so firstly we are going to say const media stream so that is what we are going to write so we are going to declare a variable media stream and from there we are going to use this api in order to get that screen so this is the api so that is what we are going to use so let me copy and let me go to the vs code and let me paste here so this is i'm going i'm going to write a here since i missed it and you know what i need to remove this display media options as well because i'm not going to pass any options in my case and so this is single-handedly going to be responsible for going to give us that pop-up screen where user can select a particular screen in order to share so this is what we are going to do here and this media stream is going to contain 
the content of that particular screen now using this variable media stream which is going to contain the content of that screen which user has selected now that content we need to render inside this video tag right inside this video tag inside the html so let us do that so that is the second step and how can we do that that's pretty much simple we have already selected this video tag so let me paste this video tag here and i'm going to say video tag dot on load metadata so this is the event listener that i'm going to call here so it is going to be video tag dot on load metadata so this means that as soon as the metadata of video tag is being loaded now we want to display the content of the screen inside the video so this is a simple function that i'm creating here and once the metadata is loaded so i'm going to say video tag okay i made a typo here so i'm going to say video tag dot play all right but here i have made one mistake that is here uh, i'm going to fix this so actually this content whatever the screen that user has selected that screen content is stored inside this media stream right now i need to pass this media stream inside this video tag right and i forgot to do so so let me do that so i'm going to do video tag okay dot i'm going to do src object so okay let me write this as src object and so inside this source we are actually adding that media stream media stream means the content of the screen whatever the user has selected and now using that we have added that content inside the video now we need to play that video so in order to play that video we are waiting to load for the metadata of the video here and once the metadata is loaded we are playing the video here okay so that's the entire story here okay now the other thing is that once the user is hitting the share but share screen button the screen is going to pop up and once the screen is uh, popping up user has selected the screen and after that i need to hide this share screen button right and i need to show another button that is start video button in order to start the video so let me hide that share screen button here so i'm simply going to say share button dot class list dot add and i'm going to add this class called hide inside the share button and i've already declared this class inside the css so this hide class is having display none so it means it is going to hide this share screen button and we need to display this start video button which is having class of hide by default so that's why it is hidden now we need to remove this class so that's pretty simple so let me clone it out here and let me write here start button okay and instead of class list dot add i'm simply going to say remove and that's how we are going to remove this hide class from this start video button and then the start video button is going to be visible okay and now this once the start video button is going to be visible we need to listen to an event to the start video button where user clicks that button so and once user clicks the start video button we need to display that video content in picture in picture format and in order to do that we are going to use another web api that is request picture in picture okay so let us do that so let me listen to this start button here so that event listener is going to be click event listener so let me do that start button dot add event listener and it is going to be click and we are going to pass a callback function here and this callback function is also going to become an asynchronous so that's why i'm going to add this async keyword and let me use that api picture in picture request picture in picture api so i'm simply going to say request video video tag dot i'm going to write this request picture in picture so let me copy this so let me come here so this is the api that i'm going to use so i'm simply going to say video tag dot request picture in picture so this is the api that is going to be responsible for us showing the video content in picture in picture format all right and once the video is rendering now we need to hide that start video button so let me write it as start button 
dot class list dot add and i'm simply going to add this class called height which is going to hide the start video button and we need to show the share screen button to the user so i'm simply going to say share button dot class list dot now i'm going to say remove because we have already added this hide inside the share button so we need to remove this hide css class so that the share button becomes visible okay now if i go to the browser and click the share screen nothing is happening it is not working why because we made a classic mistake and that is we forgot to add event listener to this share button okay so let us write this quickly here so let me write it here as share button dot add event listener all right and i'm going to add it as click and it is also going to become a callback function i'm going to write a callback function here and since this is also an asynchronous function so let me write the async keyword here and inside this once user hit this share screen button i am going to call this select screen function okay so let me call this select screen function here okay now our project is going to work completely fine now let us go to the browser here and let me hit this share screen button okay so let me click this share screen and you can see we got a pop-up now we can select the screen we have this entire screen section we have this window section that we can select a particular window and we have this chrome tag section and you know what i'm going to select using this chrome tab and here i want to select this light click motion opener website so this is the website so i want to select this so let me come here okay okay this is the light click let me come here and let me click the share button okay now it is redirecting me to this website and if i come to the picture in picture here and we can see the start video button now let me click the start video button and as you can see we have this website here uh, we have this picture in picture video format here and let me come here and let me play this video and as soon as i start playing video the video should render here but it's not rendering there might be some issue so let us figure this out quickly all right so i have made a small mistake so this is not on load metadata so it is going to be on loaded metadata okay so we want to play the video once the metadata is loaded right so it is going to be on loaded metadata cool now let us go to the browser again here and uh, let me come here let me refresh this and let me share the screen okay and i can see this pop-up option here let me go to the chrome tab and again let me select this light click motion opener website let me share this and as you can see here now let me come to this picture in picture and let me start the video and once the video started as you can see i got the screen in the picture in picture format now if i come to this website and start playing the video and you can see here the video gets starts playing here as well so we can access the video in the picture in picture format so that's that was the entire project guys and that we will using javascript i hope you like this project and you like the video so if you want more such video then please subscribe to my channel and i will come up again with another new such video